Hey, what's up, family? Sorry again, guys. I mean, this thing was terrible. Sorry, I'm trying to park now. I got to the place. Yeah, the app is was was throwing like my streaming app was freaking uh, freezing up on you guys on everybody. So I couldn't see anything or anyone what anyone was saying. So I had to, you know, re, re cancel it and come back on live again. All right. So we're going to talk about some important perspective, but it's going to be quick because I have to get back to watch the Real Madrid and Barcelona game. And you guys get to see me put eye drops, my allergy eye drops. Um, you probably can see the corner of each eye. It sucks. Hey, what's up, babe? Good evening, Mrs. Chase. How are you doing? I'm glad that uh, obviously you're listening and watching and you're at work. We're going to talk about something important. I want everybody to see this so that people can actually just slightly spread their horizons and understand what exactly, like, what, why AB always talk about think big picture. What is the big picture? Big picture is understanding the whole game from all around. It's not just only us. AMC. It's happening in throughout the whole stock market. I've mentioned it before, but it's good to continuously, now that it's even much clearer, to bring it out more and more to more people so that people can like, you know what? Oh yeah, I did see that pattern. That does look like it makes sense. You know? Hopefully it does. I'll show you guys. Um, Miss Gloria, how are you doing? <laughs> so you guys get to see me put the allergy eye drops now. I'll do it before we start the uh, talking into the live and everything. But this, trust me, this live is going to tell you if you feel some type of way about the board and AMC, um, this live is going to put some perspective and make people understand. Nice to see you again, Mr. McCohen. How are you, brother? Again, thanks for your services, sir. Um, this will put, this will give you a perspective to, to what, to how you should let out your frustrations, uh, instead of directing it straight at the board or at the AMC CEO or whatever, you, you, once you see this big picture, you'll understand that, um, too much, <laughs> you got it, Mr. Warren, it's coming. Too much, too much, too much heat and too much dick riding. I'm sorry for the, my language. You guys are not used to AB talking like this. But it's either too much crazy hate toward them or too much dick riding. And it's neither is good. Neither is good. This is the trading world. This is the financial markets. Um, the objective is to obviously take care of yourself and only yourself when it comes to it. And that's what business is called. It's nothing personal. It's business. So when the boards, AMC's board, GME board, any any board, do what they do. If it's too, if it aligns theoretically with our interests, then we're all happy and everybody is singing and, you know, doing the kumbaya and all that stuff. But when it does not align with our interests, then automatically, you know, people are coming off and they're going crazy and all that stuff. But the thing is, that I want everybody to know that you're directing most of that heat or all that dick riding in the wrong direction. You should, well, one, you shouldn't be doing any dick riding. That's one. <laughs> Two, uh, the heat and the hate and all that stuff, you're sending it toward people who are put in a position. I'm going to show you the perspective. I'm going to tell you the perspective now. But let me put this because my eyes are going to literally are burning. No, this is not a futuristic drug. <laughs> You've seen, guys, one of those movies where they have futuristic drugs that come in the shape of an eye drop. Ah, uh, this hurts. I hate allergies. You, if you don't have any allergies, you're a lucky individual. You should thank God for your blessings. Um, just to make sure. Not sponsor <laughs> but just so everybody can see what i'm putting in my eye if i go blind you guys are my witness
Uh, sorry, guys. Like I said, I just got to put this in here. It's been one of those days. And I'm going to talk about the market of what happened to us yesterday, this week, and today. What to expect for tomorrow. <laughs> Who's this? Damn. Mr. McCohen was that man, huh? Aerosmith style. <laughs> uh, oh my God. <clears throat> Man, you guys obviously are gonna see me tearing up. The only time you'll see me crying is this in this in this in this situation. So alright. So people. So when people are hating on the on the board, I want you guys all to think big picture here and think exactly what's happening with the whole entire market. This shenanigans where they short the stock, synthetics that they're selling. All these things that have been happening, these things are not only done to AMC. All these things have been done to um, many other stocks like Sundial, Tilray, and and, and Arcadia. Uh, so many, so many. You, it won't even like we can't even list them all in this uh, one live or sit down here and list them all because at the end of the day, I feel like they're doing it to the entire stock market. Um, and that also can align or explain why you see just three market makers, just three people. You got Citadel, uh, Subsquana, and Citigroup. Those three alone, alone. Shirley, how are you, my friend? And there's Jeffrey. What's up? That's the legend singer right there, Jeffrey Roca. How are you, Mr. King? Um, and that's why you see those three particularly those particular three just 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 those three combined since the end of 2021 these guys have been in like a total of assets that about 200 over 250 billion in assets that are uh delivered but not yet purchased like do you see the magnitude of that of course not all that is amc and that's just those three we didn't even go look <laughs> Other ones like Virtue or Morgan Stanley, JP Morgan, like you didn't even look in, into any of that um, to add even their shenanigans. Because if those three are doing it, everybody else is doing it. But just think of it. Just think on the, the, the like if, if 2008 was a disaster, a global catastrophe, financial catastrophe, this is an extension level. This is this is ice age extension level of things. When these things have to be purchased, it's it's it leaves you to wonder how can all these things like those 250 plus and there's more. That's just the only ones we know about in those three that has to be purchased. All those, all those represent the entire market and we will get into a little little bit of a hat like you know a tinfoil hat kind of thinking uh but it will make some sense when we when we break it down when i break it down hanzo how are you my friend hopefully you're having a great week um so what these what these guys are doing those big these big big boys the citadels and subsquanas the virtues the city groups and all them these guys are constantly making so much money it's not just only amc or what we call or what they call out there uh, <laughs> thank you shirley that that that's humbling thank you um they're not just they're not just shorting amc or meme stocks as they call meme stocks and one of my brothers uh in the family actually did talk about this adrian he was like, you know what? It makes no sense that we call us, that we also call ourselves memes. You know, we shouldn't. And he makes a lot of good point sense with that because meme is 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 something made of a word from the other side to downplay us or to make it sound like the stock is very small or irrelevant or any of that. And it's not. It really isn't. None of them are. So that's a very good point. And we need to also obviously all address it that way. This whole meme thing, there's no me nothing meme about our movement. So kudos to Adrian 
uh, for for bringing that obviously idea. So, Shirley, if you're here, please tag that all along to Adrian. Uh, that's one. Two. They're doing it to the entire market. They're pumping and dumping. You see what they did to Tesla? They brought Tesla down all the way to like 101 just a month ago. Then it got pumped within this same month back up to like 218, 220 almost. And now it's being shorted again. And you've seen even today was so crazy. Like the entire market was being shorted. Obviously, the the the, the shot, you know, have you ever heard the saying that says um, the shot that doesn't hit still makes makes a lot of damage so like if somebody shoots at you but it doesn't it doesn't hit you but it hits like it, it hits the, the glass right next to you it's still gonna rattle the shit out of you like it was that close you know what i'm saying so what was happening in the market today is that they <laughs> camels back you <laughs> all right tyler uh what they were doing is they were technically going ahead and they know that the attack is on AMC, attack is on GME, the attack is on what is called again the meme stocks. But toward the second half of the market, almost toward the end, you saw how okay the Fed, one of the Fed presidents freaking spoke out, and they had to pump. You saw what they did with the spy. You saw what they did with the other big uh, or some of the blue chip stocks and stuff. Plunge protection team jumping in. But guess who, who stayed in the bottom? Our favorite stocks. Because the aim was our, us. They couldn't bring the, let this whole entire market over there close at that price. Now, what are we going to close tomorrow? I'm going to give you a little sneak peek. We'll see if I'm correct or not. But they can't have this being higher than the low six. <laughs> they cannot have it above. 650 is, is, is something that they can't let happen. If it, if we close up above six fifty, I that's that's what will tell me that they got something is wrong. Like on their side, something went wrong, because this whole thing that happened this whole last week and this week was a nothing nothing new. But then the next basically rug pull, the market makers set it up the illusion to make it to pump it up, a lot of buying pressure that they brought up, and next thing you know. So they can cash out on premiums and options. By the way, I've made some profits on some options calls. If you made some and if you had any protective puts or if you had any puts, guess what? You also got uh, to take advantage of this little pump and dump that they did. Um, but for the most part, it was mainly made or triggered so that it can go ahead and create the illusion and the hype that we are going to squeeze. And next thing you know... This is why it's important, as I've told you before, guys, to always go ahead and think about the resistances. When I told you $8, next after that, we need to see us break 12. If we don't break 12, then okay, what, what was happening? And ultimately, the biggest level to break, you guys fact checkers, right? You guys fact check me on all this. The $15 was the ultimate level to, constant, to ultimately break. And eventually we could say, or I could say, that okay, we're waving the green flag. We're we're going to that crazy boom 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 candles, talk talk right. Uh, hey, what's up, Point Break Thor? How are you, brother? Nice to see you. Haven't seen you in a minute. Um, not from this world. A is a fool. He should never speak to us again. Be among us. Uh, I'm telling you the truth. People are pissed, but. Hold into Adam Aaron when this is over. We'll fall hard after squeezing. Like, okay, yeah. Rachel, how are you doing, my friend? I see how you feel. And again, I want you to direct that stress. Guys, what I'm saying about the big picture, I want you when you when we get through through this live, you'll see how you can direct your anger in the right direction at least. I'll tell you guys that. But you will be able only to see that when we get through this live. Thank you, Miss Chase. Appreciate you. That's very humbling to hear that. Thank you for the kind words. So, that's what they did. The market maker pulled the rug. That's why you see us yesterday went down like 8, 10%. Today, another 7. Taking away most of the profits that we had last week. Uh, 
thank thank you thank you, uh, not from this world you'll see now we'll talk we'll talk more about this like the, the main meat and potatoes of this of this live we're getting into right now this is just the backstory to all of that or at least the update to what really happened um so they bought a lot and they created all that selling pressure there isn't buying pressure that's why they're uncontested you guys see it but the reason why they do this every now and then is so that they can get to a level to where they can short this thing from they can't short us exactly at five that easily it's more risky there isn't many shares out there this whole thing of it going to the April 27th, I mean, the, like as I told you guys before, the vote will still take place on the 4th, 13th and uh, the results of it be on the 14th. There is some weird stuff happening about ape vote and how it's going to go and we're not going to know about it. Some stuff like that. I'm not too con deep and concerned all about that, but it will come down to a judge's order back uh, all the way in April 27th if it will go through or not. Now... Whether the stock split goes through or not, this right here is to get you guys to see where to trigger all that anger that you have inside of you or all or to better understand also the bigger picture where <laughs> if you're a huge fan, that's a good thing of AMC, Adam, Aaron, the board and all that stuff. But it's good to tame and temper those things like you know there's 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 i like and there is i'm okay with and there is i'm ri dick riding that's too much cheerleading that does not pay it does not pay bills so it's always good to be mediocre hold the stick from the middle by the middle always in life so to not direct all that hate the reason why the big picture that i'm talking to you guys about it i'm very stressed from this i the eye drops that i took it's very stressful um, the reason why the big picture of this entire market, since the market makers and all these guys are not purchasing securities, they're delivering them, but they're not purchasing them. And the numbers dwarf Madoff's numbers back in 2008 and the catastrophe back then, they dwarf those numbers. What we have coming is... It, 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 when people remember when people were talking about bull market just a month and a half ago you remember i was one of the only ones telling everybody <coughs> you if you think you we're in a bull market or we're going toward a bull market or the bottom have have have, have is here then you only have been in the market for a couple years you don't know really that much and time will tell and you will see, where's most of those bulls now? The people that are talking about bull market and all that stuff. None of them is talking about it. They switched subjects. All those. But you got to remember what everybody always says so you can hold it up. And that way you can fact check. You, not only necessarily them, but yourself. And say, you know what? This source was talking about this, 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 that. But that's not really happening. Hmm, is this a good source to really listen to? Or to take information from? Or to learn from? You know, that's that's the way I do things. So, hey, look, the Glock is in the house. <laughs> Salute to you, sir. You got a Glock. I can't say no to you. So, uh, so yes. So, when they're doing this to the entire market, what do you see every day? Since I already broke down what happened last week, this week, and what we expect tomorrow, you're not going to see it below... Uh, the high fives, and you're not going to see it higher than the upper six. So basically, you're going to be bouncing between 625 and 580 or 575. Somewhere in there is where we close at. Why? Check the options chain and come back and fact check me. Why? Because that's where the least pain for the market makers is. So if it closes lower than that, I would be surprised because they would be getting screwed on a lot of puts then at the five and a half and five dollars and if it closes above 650 then they're also going to get screwed on some not that much but a good amount of calls that they would have to answer to next week so knowing how they set this whole thing up they pumped you pumped us up last week it started on friday pumped us heavy on monday and then 
you saw how they became very, very Monday and Tuesday, I think, and then it became very savage yesterday and the day uh, and and today, where they brought us down back to earth, uh, in such a f screwed up manner. But it's not something that they haven't done before. That's why the resistance levels are so important to confirm what's really happening. I'll tell you what, eight dollars was so amazing to break. It was. Um, and then we're not completely out of the woodwork. It's not like it's not like we're are out of the woods. It's not like we are back for another necessarily. We're not back for another like year or so of waiting or three months until the next pump. No, like what? Last time in March, it did the same thing. A month later, we started seeing some bullish movement. The next thing you know, that was back in 2021. May came about, and at the end of May, that's when the move started really happening. Um, so that's regarding the movement and what's happening as far as now. But the big picture, what is it? What really? Ha what is really? Why are we not supposed to? Why does AB say, always say, hey, this is much bigger than AMC CEO or the board? This is much bigger than just any of us as well. This is about the whole entire stock market. They're doing this whole thing to the entire stock market. They're doing it to us a lot more than every, any other stock because we're the most concentrated stock. But you got so many people, so many places, uh, like you got Silvergate, for example. Silvergate is technically right now, last time I checked, was the highest shorted stock on the stock market, on, 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 on the thing. And Silvergate is so important to their operations. I mean, Citadel itself, I think either bought like three or five or 15% of the company. And it's in a big, big, big problem. It's a big problem right now because it was exposed to FTX as well. This thing is breaking down. This is why they were waiting for this vote thing to go through ASAP. And when you see the big picture, you'll understand why either the system <laughs> will give them that vote and it's not just about the fundamentals. This is this is what they speak about. This is the excuse that is given to you. It's kind of like the spy when it went up today. They made it seem like because that one federal judge spoke, uh, one of the Federal Reserve uh, judges spoke and said, "Hey, uh, it's important that you understand that it's in, that we as the Feds keep hiking rates, but." Only enough to take care of and tame inflation, but not too much to where we screw it up and we bring down the whole entire market with it. That's that's important. Just because of those words, next thing you know, you see the spy pump up like wild from 293, 292, all the way to 298, 398, sorry, not two, 398 and closed, I think, at 397 something. Because, again, and you saw many of the other major stocks, Microsoft, uh, Netflix, all these meta, uh, all these stocks, you've seen Amazon go up with it after 2 o'clock after that time. Because, again, plunge protection team came in. Not the entire market can be brought down because many hedge funds are also investors or mainly invested in all these other stocks. So if they drop as well, and we they drop us, and they drop AMC, they drop meme stocks, and then they drop the other sh stocks, what does that do? That hurts all these hedge funds' wallets. So we're only getting exposed to what we have investments as far as in AMC. But as far as for uh, what is in Microsoft or whatever, I'm not invested in Microsoft. I hate Bill Gates. Well, that's hate is a big word. But uh, who knows? He might deserve it. But um, I'm not into that. But the hedge funds that are short in us are in that. They ha they are exposed to that. So when that drops, their margin requirements gets tighter and tighter and tighter. And that's why you saw that random pump for the entire market that happened to alleviate it then. Because all the targets that the market makers need or want are met for tomorrow. So by tomorrow... They don't have to do too much. And in fact, yes, we are on the SSR list. <clears throat> but that doesn't mean we go to party. That means they technically, I mean, we've been there and that happened so many times in the past two and a half years. And I know you, many of you have seen that so many times where almost on a weekly basis we get on the SSR 
list. Uh, it's, 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 and I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm exaggerating it, but that's the reason why I'm saying it. It happens so many times, but the only thing important about the SSR list is that mainly it, it's basically, they can't short you on an, uh, unless it's on an uptick. So they can't short you where the stock is falling, but an uptick, but they don't need to short right now the stock because they already brought it down to the levels that they need it to so that tomorrow at close they don't have to do much tomorrow's friday they don't want to do too much work they might leave at one o'clock the office you know corporate life those assholes so they're gonna do all that they did all their work in the beginning and now at the end of the week in the middle of the week they tapped out so that tomorrow can be easy peasy lemon squeezy or japanesey as they used to say back in the days uh for them Scout Outdoor Services SOS, BlackRock owns around 9% of Silvergate. Yeah, they need it because Scout Outdoor, what is the model of Silvergate? I've, I've explained before. Uh, they use it to transfer money basically un un untapped, like no one knows, without any trace, anywhere on this planet. And just like this, using the crypto uh, blockchain. All those people, all these people, do you think when, 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 what's his name? Uh, Ken Griffin needs money because market makers need capital. No ifs and buts about it. That's the only reason why they're market makers. What makes them a market maker is capital because their vow to the stock market, to the stock exchange is that they have liquidity and that every order will get handled, whether sell or buy, because they are the ones who's going to guarantee that that happens. They're the market makers. When he needs money and he's down on money, what do you think he's going to do? What do you think these people have been doing? That's what they get uh, as the Scouts Outdoor Services. That's where they use Silvergate for. They, they get uh, Julio or Pablo Escobar to transfer money. And that's why in England they got they caught that one... Uh, one market maker, that hedge fund that actually was taking money, laundering money for gang members and, and, and mafia members and all that stuff because they got money, but they can't utilize it. Now, the market makers are saying, well, I can make that money to put to use because I have a clean sheet and I can launder the shit out of this money for you. But how do they get it from here to here instead of having to meet at the dock <laughs> in, in some sort of weird back alley uh in the in the in the ship's alley or some shit or in the arena in the, in the mina sorry uh in cali somewhere or some shit they don't have to do any of that or airdrops or any of that stuff no all they have to do is use it on the blockchain the crypto blockchain send it over market maker puts it in takes what they obviously percentage out of it and then they send the clean laundered money over back to the bad people that's technically what they do. Uh, point break Thor. So do you think Silvergate runs first to provide liquidity? Well, that's the thing. It's the most shorted. Does that mean that it will run? It's poised. It's poised. Like it's in a position where if it breaks, it's going to have a sick squeeze, like a sick ass squeeze. Not that I'm over here advocating to get into anything. I'm not a financial advisor, guys. I'm just explaining how all that fits in together and where they get the money sometimes is that's one of the alleys that they use where they get money by all means necessary to do this. And you guys saw they do whatever they have to do to get shares. They did with FTX. Obviously, that's gone now. They do whatever, it, whatever they have to do. They will do far more for much less just to make sure that they get what they need and not let us get to our uh, finish line or the end goal that we need. Um, so, yeah, the possibilities for Silvergate is astronomical. But in the same time, I got to keep my eye on the play that I'm in, the most important play. That's a day trade for me as far as the Silvergate. This is the real deal. AMC is where I'm at. That's for me what I speak on most of the time as far as for long term right now in this market that we're in. Uh, Sammy, do we still have little hope for run up before reverse split? Of course. Of course. These guys are sit sitting on hinges, brother. These guys, in my opinion, again, uh, these guys are sitting on the hinges. They need shares. 
Whatever they're getting shares for, for from right now, nobody can pinpoint. But I tell you, and I almost guarantee you, that these shares that they got, they paid a good penny for them. The ones that they just recently got, they paid a good ass penny from the, for for them. Um, but why not? Because they've been able to get away with it for ent the entirety of 2022. All of 2022, they did not have to worry about paying for any shares or borrowing because at the end of the day, they were able to get them for free. Damn near from this whole FTX scandal crap. Hey, Mr. Loco, how are you, brother? Yeah, I know, right? They were giving me a problem to try to log on. I had to do it three times to get live. It's YouTube and the, the service, the streaming service that I have. Uh, no, Sammy, as far as not caring about the squeeze anymore, of course, that's what they want to get to. And now the big picture that I'm talking about will explain that to you. And you will see what I mean now. The choice will always be yours, guys. And you'll see how they they ultimately have always been planning to put you in that position. Excuse me. I needed some air. I had the thing closed, but then there's cars, and I don't want to get noise all in here for you guys, so you don't you can hear what's happening. Um. So hey, Mr. Santos, how are you, sir? So when they when they do this whole thing to the entire market and they constantly keep shorting all the stocks and then pumping them short, 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 some a lot more than other, what does that tell me? And they're not purchasing. You saw, I just told you about three, Citigroup, Citadel, uh, Susquehanna, combined 250 billion plus, plus, just in those three, amongst those three, in unpurchased assets? <laughs> this this whole thing has been nothing but a, the biggest Ponzi scheme, like the same Ponzi scheme of 2008, but magnified to a astronomical level. And unfortunately, and hopefully I don't catch a bullet for this. Um, unfortunately, it is being allowed. It's not that the system does not understand or how are they doing this. No, the system is allowing this on one sense, on on, all, on one basis. And I'll tell you what these bases are on why and why I do think that the system is allowing this, obviously, because everybody makes money in this system, in this whole thing, in this whole paired <laughs> freaking Ponzi scheme. Everybody, every branch is making money. The banks are making money out of it. Uh, you got the people like uh, the central banks, the feds is making money out of it through repo and reverse repo, inflating and deflating the market as they see fit. Pumping categories. You got last year, you seen, like, are you, you paying attention to like even around you, the inflation. Remember, meat was very expensive. Chicken was like, I mean, it's still expensive, but chicken was astronomically high in 2021 and 2022. Now it's eggs. Remember when all these cows and these random farms were being burnt? And last year, and and now you got, what's his name? The, the island visitor, uh, Bill Gates. You guys know what I'm referring to as the island visitor. Um... You got him buying up so much land. So much land. I mean, they even calculated in the percentage. And controlling most of the farmland. Well, not most, but like a lot of farmland in the U.S. I think somebody was calculating it and it was like 0.5 or 5% of all farming in the U.S. is owned by him by now. He's constantly buying more and more and more. Controlling the necessities in life. Not just the wants, but necessities like water. You see what they did in Ohio. Here, in my own backyard, in Ohio. You've seen what they did in Ohio. Ohio, what was water's price? I was, when I was a kid, there was no such thing as water per being purchased. The, the way that humankind used to think is that there's no such thing as you buy water. You just drink water. Can you imagine 
just when I was a kid, it was the way of thinking was like that. Look where we are now. What, 20 years later? 25 years later? Now, the word, the world buys water. I mean, there's water bottles. I swear to God, I'll walk into a Walgreens or a CVS. Nothing fancy spansy. I'm not in uh, Santa Monica or anything. And you, I'll find a water bottle, a one liter water bottle for eight or nine dollars. Because, oh, this is alkaline powered. This one is from the the crust, the earth's crust. That one is from the Himalayas. The other one, I mean, come on. And that's what it's all about. Controlling the necessities so they can constantly, that's from the 1%, to constantly oppress the 99%. Because you can you oppress me with something that I want. Like, if you control all the clothing, you're not going to oppress me. I can go create my own. If it comes down to it, I can go and net my own sweater. But if you control all the water source, you control all the uh, sources, or you control all the food uh, sources in this in this in civilization, then you control me because I it's a necessity now it's a need you're controlling the necessity. We've even seen some movies and I know this at some point will happen where air is so messed up and global warming and all this stuff. Eventually, you're gonna find people going in to buy air. You're gonna be buying oxygen to live. That's how it's all about money. Adrian, what's up? I'm glad you made it, brother. That's what it's about to them. We are the milking cows, and, and it's only a few of them that will keep milking us. So, And it's been like this since the beginning of time. It's just things keeps getting advanced, more advanced. I know it sounds funny, guys, but like it's a joke or something, but I, I, I don't think it's that far-fetched. Like We will get to a point where they will be charging you for oxygen. You will be, to breathe, you will be, oh, unless you want to catch, breathe the regular air, that you will catch some crazy shit in. God knows what they release in or who released what in. After Moas, I'm buying like, <laughs> like, like a hundred thousand freaking or a thousand oxygen tanks and, and, sta and, and making a nuclear bu bunker, <laughs> like that literally, so that when oxygen becomes something that they have to buy when people have to buy then guess you know what <laughs> i'm gonna be one of the people sitting on a lot of oxygen oxygen is gonna be like gold i'm gonna be sitting on tanks of oxygen uh <laughs> yeah right not from this world can't breathe it be 299 a minute you get your turn re like carry a tank on you i mean guys this is the world this is how they do it but anyways Back to, uh, like, what are they doing with the entire market? Don't you realize that almost every day or every other day you get on the market, even if it's stocks that you're not invested in, you can watch, you see some stocks that are always every day, there's some stock or some company doing some sort of reverse stock split or a shelf offering. A shelf offering is like technically like diluting, but it's a special procedure where they can go ahead with the SEC and they file it. There's like an S3 and blah, so much into it that goes into it. It's so crazy stupid. But the idea of it is that they can sell or <coughs> ask to issue shares basically and then issue them at different times, not all at once. Every day there is somebody that's doing a shelf offering, a reverse stock split, or some dilution or selling shares, basically. And every, not just AMC that's talking about this proposal. We know a, Sundial did it. Yesterday, Arcadia did it. Every day, there's new companies. All these companies are being brought down. Now, I want you, while you're thinking about that thought, I want you to remember the three companies that I told you about, the three market makers slash hedge funds that have just combined amongst them 250 billion plus Assets not yet purchased. Keep that thought in that back of your head. And in the same time, while that's in, the, in on the back burner, think about what I just said. Stocks, almost every day, you got companies coming out doing what? Reverse stock splits, shelf offering, or issuing shares. Because they need to get uh, their fundamentals. They need to get better. Well, guess what? 
the 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 idea of all of this now when you combine the thought in the background what these people have been doing and this is why they're somebody's letting them do this too it's not that they they're able to get away with it they're taking the money they're going with it when you pay for money through your broker you buy the shares they're always right now you go buy any share you want you can buy 10 times the float of any company and they will make it happen no problem because they need the money. It's about the money. They take that money and money doesn't sleep. They go reinvest it. Perhaps they reshort your own investment. They take your money and short you with your own money. Keep flipping money, obviously illegally and terribly. And in the same time, on top of all that shorting, all that shorting and all that reaping money, sometimes they even get in on option plays with it. I mean, brokers, you, what do you think brokers do? Do you think... They just uh, are custodians for your shares. Besides payment for order flow, the payment for order flow ones. What do you think they also do? Once you put deposit your money, it doesn't sleep. It doesn't just go to the obviously the bank. There's a window, there's time. And in that time, there's a lot of money to be made for them. So and that's and that's their formula. That's how they go about it. So keep shorting all these stocks. Take the money. Don't deliver. Don't purchase. Stocks keep falling. Keep shorting them on the side as well. So there's many things that they're doing to bring it down. But the main formula is to constantly keep bringing down, keep bringing down the shares price of, of all these companies, short them. But in the same time, take whatever coming your way, take it, but do not purchase it. Again, you in, in less than two years, how do you accumulate just in those three guys, amongst those three guys, how do you accumulate 250 billion plus worth of assets not purchased? The only way you do that is by taking whatever coming your way and not purchasing anything in return. Which means all this is not being induced in the market capitalization of the, uh, the, the company itself or whatever company it is. Thank you, non-refundable. <laughs> Uh, appreciate it. Thank you for the kind words. Um, so as the company keeps falling down in value, what does that force the company and the board do, to do? Yeah, this is where we're getting to the point where I'm telling you in the beginning of the live how to direct your anger and how to understand the big picture. When they're putting all these companies, the entire stock market, in those uh, vulnerable position, they send, they sent all these mark all these i mean they short us illegally they short us in many ways synthetically wrong they spoof our orders they do so many things they halt the the buy orders they do all that they don't failure to delivers all that stuff but on top of that you know what else they need is to not purchase assets on top of that that's the big creme de la creme baby that's the holy grail right there all those that has to be purchased when it gets purchased when will it get purchased aha uh -huh. we're coming with that we're coming i'm coming to you with that i know because if you're thinking like the way that i'm thinking i know that's the next question in the, in the, in the back of your head now exactly not from this world so they their insidious idea from the get-go is time and in that time I'm going to go ahead and do all sorts of fucked up shit to, to these people, to the market in general. Uh, it just happened to be that we are within the market and we are the number one target of the, of, uh, on, on, their, on their docket. And that doesn't make me afraid. <laughs> I don't know how to take that, Adrian. Cheese head. <laughs> Much love, brother. But coming from my brother, I know that he's not making fun of me. Um, <laughs> I got sidetracked, but yes. So when you're thinking about the, like how they're doing this, what they're doing, there's so many things that they're doing, but the main thing that is really the main ingredient of this whole, <clears throat> uh, this whole thing with, with how they mainly bringing down the, the, the entire market or these plays or AMC or any of that is through not delivering any of these purchase or not purchasing any of these assets because by not doing so, it affects the 
obviously the market cap of every respectable company that they're not purchasing the assets of. God knows, just amongst those three guys is 250 billion plus. There's still many more. Uh, don't talk about this. Not from this world. Don't talk about Rogers. Don't bring this up right now. Okay? So, so there's so much more out there that we didn't even count between other counterparties, whether market makers like Virtue or other hedge funds or major banks, 250 billion plus just in those three. It's obvious that the writing is all over the wall. It's all over the wall for you, you guys. For all of us, it's right over, all over the wall. They continue to do this, forcing all these companies, because as the market cap, obviously, uh, of it not being affected, not, none of these, its float is being actually purchased, then guess what? Yeah. <laughs> it's constantly going to keep the stock and, and its shares dropping. At all times. And that's where the time mechanism comes in. That's where the time mechanism comes in, in their formula. So they need time, not purchase, force all the companies that are on their targets, it's not the entire stock market, at least for sure most of the meme stocks, force all, force all of them into very, very vulnerable stage, like the one that we're in, where we're in debt, it's getting worse, we're not really making money yet, that's the biggest problem, is that we're not making money, we had great earnings as far as at least we're getting better, there's good things, I've talked to about all about that, good things, stuff, popcorn, blah, 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 all that stuff, in the past with all of you guys, I've even went to Adam Aaron's Twitter and gave him an idea since he listens to ideas, and it was a good idea, in my opinion, I've said it to some of the family members in here, to help with the fundamentals. Um, in cash, man, that's a very good thing to think about right there. The entire market will rally, but how much will the retail, especially the ones in AMC, exactly... Uh, <laughs> yeah, we just need to climb the wall of Vado Loco. Yeah, that's one heck of a wall. <laughs> Somebody need to point it out to Trump. <laughs> but yeah. Um, <laughs> when they keep putting these companies in a vulnerable position, what do you think? Here's where we get to the board and the CEO now. When, it, when the board and the CEO as employees... When they are in this position, what do they have to do? They have to do what they have to do. So technically, Adam Aaron, and I don't know much about the board, at least him because he speaks most of the time. Uh, I don't know him again much. None of us do. We might know him through his tweets, his talk and the reports and the earnings and stuff. But that, that doesn't mean that's who he is. You know, he's just speaking. Anybody speaks. It doesn't mean that's who they are. If that's how you understand people in life then mm, you got trust uh, corrections to make uh, the GNS I saw Vado Loco yesterday that was making me laugh um, I didn't know there was a such thing out there that there's GNS I didn't know there was a GNS community out there and they're like saying our CEO is better than yours and stuff like that I, it, it gave me a good laugh um <laughs> and when you shared that article that showed that, you know, the CEO and the company of GNS technically kind of like gut punched all the investors with a shelf offer or um, by giving uh, shares for uh, pennies on a dollar, like it was like 50 million for like a crazy amount of shares in return just to pay down a loan or something like that. It was crazy. It was crazy. But the point is here, I've never, and by the way, that GNS CEO, I've never trusted anyways. Like, he looked foxy to me. <laughs> I don't know why, but he looks foxy to me, if that's a word even. Like, you waited two, three years of all this crap that was happening, and then now suddenly out of this, all of a sudden he came out, he wants to do a YouTube channel, wants to be YouTuber of the year, of the month, a word, and all that stuff. Um, and now he wants to bring down the tension and he brings West Christian and all this stuff. Why now? And it, it was just, it looked like he was doing it for fame or to make some money out of it himself. 
Um, I don't know if he succeeded or not, but I never trusted the guy, honestly, to be totally honest. However, whether it's, oh, 18 million in return was 200 million. Insane return compared to 18 million lent out. Yeah, right? Um, but I want people, again, to think about now the big picture here. Keep, keep thinking the big picture. This GNS did the same thing as AMC have been offering almost the same thing as what it did with Ape. Uh, forget the percentages, what was really bad deal or good deal or all that. The point is, the big picture here is that these forces that are against us, and I told you and I showed you how through all these non-purchased assets and everything, uh, combined with all the fuckery with the FTDs, with the spoofing, uh, payment for order flow against you, taking it and use it in against you, all that stuff, all that stuff. Uh it, all these things combined, but mainly that unpurchasing assets, because we see how many, like 250 billion plus just amongst three. Like I can't keep restressing that to see the, to show you the level of, of how catastrophic that, that, that number is. And that's just amongst three. So do the market makers keep rotating? Uh, the sold but not purchased keep up uh, T2 settlements or are some of them months or even years old? Oh, no. So, so what you said is correct. But some of them are also, most of them, if not, are years old. Most of them from 2021, <laughs> since the end of 2021. They yet to be purchased. You want to tell me that, that they could somebody could do that without anybody in the system, whether the law makers and all that stuff mr dials how are you noticing or knowing i understand the sec is not doing shit and i told you guys many times before why they won't do shit because again big picture everybody else is in on this thing everybody's making money off of this thing on that side they're all on the same side you know how many times hedge funds rat each other out and they go against each other? It's a, it's a cutthroat world over there in Wall Street. It's surprising that they all have been holding it together for this long. You know why? Because all of their fucking asses are on the line. So <laughs> they're using or they're using right now, they're living by the motto of the enemy of my enemy is my best friend. So... Even though the, they're, they're all hedge funds and they're all enemies to each other, but they got to be best friends right now because they have one common enemy, which is us and the other uh, investors, not just AMC, but the entire stock market, anybody else, any other retailer, any other uh, non-big organization uh, or anybody that's not in that club, in that big boy club zone or that 1% zone. <laughs> peace out tyler adrian i don't know it's right there you tell me 59 50 i can't remember <laughs> in cashman no i stopped right now i was supposed to be watching the remaining of that madrid and barcelona game i saw that they gave us an own goal earlier so that was beautiful <laughs> hopefully it ends up in our favor still but anyways, we're missing like all half of the team, the starters, like the, the main players. And we're still doing that. That's crazy. Anyways, um, don't sidetrack me, guys. <laughs> so as they put the companies in vulnerable positions, what do you expect the company to do? What do you expect the company to do? As you see them, they forced people. They forced the companies, all of them. This is studied. This is... Uh, triggered this is something that they planned for this is not something that oh by luck they're just not purchasing assets or whatever no or securities this has been planned and the entire system is letting it happen because it's that crazy let me now let's get to let's get to this one thing after I finish saying all that. Cause I, again, I don't want to stay here for two hours or whatever. I just want to keep this as a one hour mark. Let's try to shoot for one hour only. Okay. Um, how do I know, think the AMC vote will go? It, it, it really, it really doesn't matter much. Like if yes, 
If the yes goes through, like because of the magnitude of this thing, the yes will not end the everything. It will definitely tamper a lot of the expectations, in my humble opinion, of, of, of the climb and the numbers when this thing goes. But it's not going to end this. It's, it's not a Moas killer. I will tell you that. Uh, but the term Moas, if the yes goes through, has to be re-looked at. Just re, 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 restructured and tampered. The expectations have to be tampered a little bit. If the no goes through, then it's the wild, wild west, baby. It's, 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 it's going to be risky. But the unbelievable numbers, remember the numbers I've always said, those crazy numbers that people were always talking about, they're very well possible with the amount of the shit that's in the background that they got to cover and the amount of these unpurchased assets that got to be purchased <laughs> is, 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 oh yes, Sheen Dial, there you go. You're, you're jumping, you're jumping exactly, you over jumped me to the gun, but you're exactly on the right step. You're right at the right conclusion. So ultimately for them, for the, for the market makers, for all these hedge funds, what is the game? Since we, we see the big game now. What is the big game about? Of course, in between, every war has battles. M bunch of battles. Like we just went through a battle and lost it, right? However, the, uh, the, the war has already been won. So we just got to go through these battles here and there. When did we win the war? Two years ago. This is why I've always said I don't have a problem. I never will get out until my time comes because... Their only hope on the other side is one. By doing the non-purchasing, by taking this thing longer, by kicking it longer, kicking the can longer and longer, what does that do? It makes so many people sell. Well, if that side <coughs> doesn't have to purchase, look at this, think of this. I'm going to give you an example, guys. I'm going to use myself as an example here, just hypothetically speaking. With everything that we talked about. And watch how I'm going to apply it to it. AB is one of the investors in Sundial. I'm going to put AMC on the side. Just so that I can show you guys that the big picture is not only about us. It's about everywhere else it's happening. And when you understand the whole game, then you'll understand how to react to it. So I'm going to use it. The AB has Sundial. And he's been waiting for two and a half years now. He can't take it anymore. He's over leveraged. He's, his, his bank account is hurting. So AB goes in, sells all his sundial. That's after it was reversed and mangled and all that stuff. Cut in half, all, all short shapes of, or forms. Sells his sundial and moves on with his life and says, okay, um, the stock market is not for me. Or I'll try my luck in the future again when my finances get better. Guess what? Those that I just sold, those are some of those securities that the other side no longer has to purchase anymore. In the same time, those are some of the synthetics that have been selling you. So that way you're giving the same synthetic, the weapon of crime. You're giving it right back to them at a, at a loss. So they get to make money twice. One, they sold it to you for a higher price because right now the prices are lower than where you bought it at. And you're selling it back to them. You're selling them back their weapon of crime. You're, you're making life easy for them. You're giving it back to them at a lower price. So they get to obviously, if you, they sold it to you for 20 and you're selling it at 10, they just made a $10 profit and whatever money they kept making off of that initial $20. Right? That's that's the first thing. So if uh if 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 you tap out, you're technically giving them back their crime weapon that they need badly. By the way, this is their only hope. Drag this as long as possible till you either get margined or you remember last year when people were posting photos, oh my account is being margined, I'm not I'm on a margin account. Uh, I'm, I have to meet my requirement, my margin call, and people got margin on their accounts, not just hedge funds, no, regular retail traders like us. So their hope is either get you margined and send this as much as, as they could further down the line, 
so that you can, in between that time, either tap out, give them back what they need, their, 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 their shares that they want, that they should have never anyways issued, because they've just been like, hey, here, you want, you got, you got money? Come, you want to get in this, in this, in this party, in the AMC party, or OCGN party, or Clove? Do you guys remember that Clove party or GME? Because to them, it's like all about like different party rooms, and they're doing this just to the entire stock market. Some a lot more than other, like us, the most probably. And you want to get in? Come in. Nobody is not allowed. Anybody can get in. They took all of us. They took the money. They keep taking money until now. They will continue to take the money. And on top of that, they'll send you something on your screen because it's all digital. Telling you that, hey, look, you got you got shares. Remember AOL? You got mail. <laughs> then you get shares. In your eyes, you got shares. In the reality, you got shares. Synthetic, real, leather, whatever. Doesn't matter. And lawfully, it does not matter. What do you see now? They sent over time by not purchasing these assets. Companies are being put in vulnerable positions. Retail traders or traders in general are being put, dragged to be put in vulnerable positions as well because that works to their advantage. Now, eventually, the companies will constantly dilute themselves to survive, especially companies who are not making profits. So AMC is technically diluting itself, not because it wants to fuck up your MOAS or kill your MOAS or kill us or go against us. No, it's doing it because it's put in that position and it has to be, but it, it shouldn't have. It shouldn't be asking for dilutions at all. It shouldn't be put in that, but that's the setup of the market. That's the big picture that I want all of you guys to understand or pay attention to that the system is okaying, is giving the okay to go ahead and not purchase assets. Literally, I mean, clearly, it's been a couple of years now almost, over 250 billion just amongst three of those players. Three unpurchased assets. Aliyah, how are you doing? JA, how are you, my friend? So, when AMC is proposing this, I want everybody to understand. Not that, again, I'm not a fan of any any board or any CEO. The closest I ever gotten to was to Elon Musk, but I have my doubts about him too. But at the end of the day, because at the end of the day, these people, they, they don't give two shits about me. Not that I shouldn't give two shits about them, but that's just the nature of the game. This is the fine. This is the Wall Street. This is the financial markets. It's all about taking care of yourself and yourself only. There is no there's no ifs and buts about it. None of that stuff. This is not the NFL. This is not WWE, where you, you know we we oh my team versus yours or my manager versus yours or whatever. It, that doesn't buy put food on the table and that doesn't make money. So. Adam Aaron, when people are saying Adam Aaron wants to screw us, it's not that he wants to screw us. It's the fact that his decision or their decision on that, from that board is technically, yes, screwing us a little bit. Well, maybe this much with this, yes. But they are put in that position. They're not the ones who are making that decision. They're the ones who are, they're the face that is presenting that decision to us. But they're not the ones who's making that decision. Because they're put in that position. If they don't do that, where else will they have money from? Okay, they can sell more ape, keep keep doing it. But guess what? Eventually, there will be a lot more ape <laughs> issued at much lower. Why? I mean, the ape shouldn't be this low. AMC shouldn't be this low. None of these stocks should be this low. If all these assets are being purchased, like the way that they should be, that we, should, we we will not be at this level. We, we, we none of these stocks should be at this level. <laughs> so there's no there's no like there's no it, it, it's it's an impossible position that they're put in 
and they have to. They're the face that present that are presenting those that vote and that convergent uh, over to us. Now, if that lawsuit wins out, then guess what? To me, no matter what, whether it's the yes or the no, as I said a billion times before, I'm staying in. Because as I told you, as I broke down that entire big picture for you, their only hope is you tapping out and breaking out and giving them back the shares that they need, which is their weapon of crime that they used against us, the synthetics, so they can use them and, you know, pair them up and close them and bury them. So that when there will be a formal investigation way after um, this whole thing is over with and the run up happens and everything, when they look into it, watch, fact check me years from now, they're going to come out and say, hey, or maybe a couple months from now, um, the SEC and the DOJ are going to come out and say, hey, we didn't find any synthetics. No proof of anything because everything has been buried. Because when this thing takes off, guess what? Whenever we start pressing that sell button, automatically we're selling it back to them so that they could take care of it and bury it or shred it or burn it, do whatever with it. They're not going to keep those stuff on the table saying, okay, these are the synthetics. Are you looking for this DOJ? Come and take it. So when they do all that, everything will be closed. But the difference here is for what price are we going to give back the crime weapon, the weapon of uh, the crime back to them? Rain forever. And he still won't admit that the company is being naked shorted. <laughs> if you're talking about Adam Aaron, you're asking of him to be stock trader of the year or the month or something to understand all that. You know, you got to remember, guys. Again, I'm not sticking up for the guy. He doesn't owe me anything. I don't owe him anything. As I said before, you guys know my stance. The family knows my stance on as far as that. I'm not in favor of anyone. I call out when they do wrong and I give them props when they do good. Um, you got to remember, guys, the CEO doesn't mean he's a the guru of trading doesn't mean he knows about naked trade uh, shorting and even if he knows he cannot talk about naked how many other people you know talk about naked shorting what uh, Chris, uh West, what, what, uh what's his name west christian as a lawyer who's looking for cases so he can get paid take big public cases like this and make millions of dollars on it maybe hundreds of millions of dollars on it <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> I see. Do you, a Glock exactly? DOJ wants it out of uh, out of uh, out of sight. Of course, they will be out of sight when we all sell. But the difference here, because eventually we all will sell. But what price are we selling at? That's the key. For them, they're afraid. People talk about offers and everything. The offer came in twenty twenty one. They offered $74, up to $74 for people to sell and get out. People were not okay with it. People were talking about it. 100000 a share, 15000 a share, 10000 a share. That scares the living shit out of them. Look at this. $250 billion plus assets. Even if it was like what? Just among those three. Even if, even if there was just five or ten floats of AMC in the background, one of them, obviously, one the original float has to be purchased. But in the same time, the other nine. <laughs> if you calculate, you're talking about like almost like what? Nine billion shares out there. Like te theoretically speaking, if there's nine extra billion AMC shares out there, synthetics. And when this thing starts and we have to sell it back, when people talking about 10,000 a share and whatnot. Can somebody do some math for me on here and put the numbers down? Please, I trust the family, okay? If you were to get the number, if everybody, if there was 4 million investors plus, we're just going to round things up. Let's say there was, you know what? Let's just say that there isn't more than 4 million. Let's just say that there's only 4 million investors in AMC, only, exactly on the dot. And then in the same time, 
we will go ahead and say that there was whatever, 9 billion shares that are not, you know, purchased or even delivered or any of that. Synthetics, basically. So let's just say that you multiply everybody out of those 4 million investors that, let's say two, we'll take half. We'll just slice, slice it in half, okay? To be more conservative. Let's say half of the move of the com of the community in this in this in this thing in this movement half really truly hold everybody else the other half fell victims look i'm giving you big picture and conservative one here half just 2 million left and there is still about what 8 6 billion freaking shares that has to be uh purchased back by them to cover this synthetic crap because people are not selling we're still holding Okay. Do the math for me, guys. Two million multiplied. Let's just take a number. We're not going to say this is the number that everybody will sell at. But when everybody was talking about 100,000 a share or 15,000 a share, what scared the other side is that people actually meant those numbers. They were not joking when we say those numbers. People actually meant them. So therefore, when you got all that much... 50, uh, sorry, this guy's backing up and I want to make sure he doesn't hit my car. Uh, so, so at the end of the day, uh, <laughs> look at the idiot. He's one of my friends. He's trying to park. He's like, take it back. Take your car back <laughs> so I can park. <laughs> Here, I got to reverse a little bit more. What a, what a, what a piece of work, right? The kind of friends that I have. <laughs> so, yeah. Sorry, I'm back now, guys. So if we were to do 2 million and eat, let's say, let's just hypothetically say that everybody out of those 2 million left wants to hold until 10,000 a share. Can you guys add the zeros and let me know what that number is? What is it? Because I know it's just 2, 10, that's 20, either 20 or 200, but what? What is the number? 20 trillion, 200 billion, what is that? What's the number? So again, 2 million investors. <laughs> Billions and trillions. So, okay, we'll back away from the math for now. I'm not selling for anything less than a perfect life I share. <laughs> so that's why I always say to people that in the family that, yes, this reverse split, this conversion, yeah, of course, it's their way to get shares so they can deal with the shorts. Remember this. The big picture, it's, there's, it's not only about the shorts. Remember that. There's still the synthetics that they have to cover. In fact, in my humble opinion... The synthetics are even way more dangerous than the shorts. Because the shorts, we have what? Like I reported, about 24, 22% of the float being shorted, which is about 100 million and some, you know, 100 plus million being shorted, which is high. It's very high. But I think that the creme de la creme, baby, is in the uh, synthetics that must be purchased back. So 2 million people selling, that's just 20 billion. I see here, thank you, Scout uh, Outdoor Services, SOS. But that's only if you were to also multiply that to you, because you have to also get the, the rest of the shares. The What is it? Let's say there's 6 billion shares left, 5, 6 billion shares left. So you have to incorporate that in, which means we will automatically be in the trillions of dollars uh, to be paid out. To them, that's scary. Do they have the money? They can always turn on the machine. Feds can always turn on the machine. But guess what? That means that the more, every time they turn on the machine to print, that sends the dollar before it. Every dollar, dollar that's re, like every dollar that's printed makes the dollar before it lose some of its value. Inflation for you. Which means if you think eggs are expensive right now, if they were to go and print trillions of dollars for one play, that's not counting in the rest of the other market then that means eventually, yeah, you will have one egg for 
a hundred dollars, uh, freaking 50 bucks, a box of eggs, a cart of eggs is $50, so shit like that. Yeah, I'm not joking with that. If, will we see that? I doubt it. But if everybody sees the big picture, we could actually possibly see that because the numbers that they will have to pay out will be out astronomical. It'll be astronomical. There's no way out of it except for you to tap out for them. And also for you to sell for, for whatever low price, much lower than what you pay, buy, bought it for. Because again, they want to pay this movement from the movement itself. So the ones that don't make it, they actually will be paying out theoretically the ones that do last until the end. Um, until then, there's no ending. There's no ending. It's just, there's no ending. Except, uh, again, AMC closes. That's the only way. But there's no other way for them. They need those same shares, not for, for not just the real shares. They need everything they rolled out back. And their best interest... I need to buy some chickens. Yeah, right, Aliyah? <laughs> you got to battle Bill Gates for that, for that nowadays. He's got the rights to all that stuff. Uh... <laughs> you want to keep Trump out, Adrian? <laughs> so at the end of the day, these guys, their only hope, guys, is for you to tap out. And for us, it's the same. But for them, they have uh, Christopher. No, I'm in the U.S. I'm in Cincinnati, Ohio, brother. Um, so you got to remember that at the end of the day, the system is okay in this. In my opinion, why are they okay in this? Because the amount of madness that's on this, the entire financial market, is eventually going to land in the lap of the, uh, of the system. I don't want to say the other word. You know what I'm talking about. So I, again, I don't, you guys don't end up catching me and in in, in finding my body in a garage or some shit. <clears throat> Tindies, how are you, brother? Um, so, so that's, that's the, that's the big picture guys. So please understand that when you're directing hate toward the board or whatever, just understand that it's much bigger than that. Those characters, those are just the face that is interviewing to you, just like a news channel or anchor. They're reporting the news to you. They're not the ones who are deciding the news. They report the news to you. They're just the face. That's what our CEO and the board is all about. They're, <laughs> trust me, guys. Or trust me, bro, I guess here. Because <laughs> I can't give financial advice. At the end of the day, uh, when, you, when you have something that poses a threat for the entire financial system, not just the stock market, but the entire stock market to the entire economy, do you think they're going to leave those just in the hands of a few CEOs and boards? Because it's not just AMC. It's about uh, other companies, Sundial, Tesla, um, freaking GME, every, everything. So when you have all this, do you think the, the powerful figures in the law or in the government uh, are going to allow the fate of the entire world globally global financial market be put randomly in a marvel like a marvel's movie in the hands of some ceos and some board members <laughs> again it's, it's this is all about how big can your brain see things some people can't see it that way I, again i don't fault them everybody is different it is what it is but when you see these things uh, oh, thank you, non-refundable. Thank you for letting me know. I am above an hour. But with you, when you hear this, we'll wrap this up now. So when you hear this, um, all this stuff like this, and you see this, and you think of all this stuff this, this same way that I'm breaking down to you guys, you'll begin to understand that you need to think, we need to think bigger as far as who do we cry out to. We need to think bigger. How do we go about this crying out because at the end of the day every rea every action warrants a reaction and 
thank you. Thank you both, uh, Point Break Thor and Brother Adrian Fernandez. My 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 backbone. Um. So so, at the end of the day, you guys got to remember. Hey, hey, Patriot. Sorry, I just now seen you. So I, I didn't know if you were if you've been in here, but I'm just doing my due diligence now. Um. It's it's much bigger than just boards and CEOs, guys. It's for the entire financial system globally, not just in the U.S. only, because this affects everything else around. What affects here affects everything else. And the system knows how dangerous this is. Patriot says, I'm thinking they, the street, the banks, the government, etc. Uh, to continue, will our TC uh, will allow this to happen, uh, at least not in its in, uh, entirety. No, it's it's correct. It's in, you could say in its entirety, it's, it's, it's letting it happen. Because at the end of the day, if, let's say it like this. Let's say we started out with 4 million investors. Again, another hypothetical example here. And we just stayed at 4 million. We didn't grow or any of that. Let's say we squeeze next year. Hypothetically speaking. If by, from, from the beginning of this movement until the time that we squeeze next year, let's say, hypothetically. Okay? I'm not saying we're squeezing next year. So from 2020, somewhere toward the end of 2020, we'll say the beginning of 2021 till 2024, so three years straight, they, in those three years, were able, let's say hypothetically speaking, they were able to cut down the number of the people that are holding the stock or in this, on this ship, on this boat. If we were at 4 million and by the time the squeeze takes place, there's about 3 million or 2 million or who knows left. That's a win for them. That's a win for them because they're like, hey, those 2 million that fell victim, they will pave the way or they will pay for the other two that survived to see the end. It's what it's about, folks. It's a, it's what it's about. Some players just are going to win no matter what because the system that is designed, like the designer of the system, is the people that we are against. We're against the whole entire de design maker. <laughs> and I understand. They're, they're, they're spoofing my lives. They're spoofing my shit. They're shorting the shit out of my uh, channel because at the end of the day, I'm going to speak this stuff. A lot of people want to hear that. Hey, let's go. And next week we're booming, boom, boom, candles and all this stuff. But that's never been me and it will never be me. I don't give a shit about that. What I care about is obviously understanding what is the pedigree of what I'm into, the magnitude of what we're into and how to really evaluate it, like evaluate it correctly. Because I don't want to devaluate what I'm in as a businessman. I have my own business and that's the way that you don't want to ever devaluate what you have and you don't want to over evaluate it as well. <laughs> Thank you, Adrian. appreciate it, brother. Uh, likewise. Um, and to all of you guys who said anything about the, you know, the welcoming. <laughs> so I want all of you guys to please, 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 please remember to not devaluate the position that we're in this only like when you think big picture shows you that how mad crazy mad or big we are this only shows you that and when you see that when you think about it in this sense you'll start overlooking all this stuff like oh ceo board member all this stuff they let like they're gonna do what the hell they're gonna do we're gonna do what we're gonna do the only thing that we can be very concerned about is us being the only thing you should be very concerned about is being over leveraged on your position. That's it. Make sure that you don't get over leveraged. Make sure that you're in a position where you can take this thing if you need to fucking as, as long as you need to as much as possible because that's the most risk. That's the most the only thing that poses a risk to you. In my humble opinion, losing out is by literally, technically, just letting your shit go. 
because that's what they're pushing you for. They need that crime weapon back. They need those knives back. They need what they were, what they use, those synthetics. They need them back to cover their crimes. When you sell it back to them, they're counting on you selling it or giving it back or getting liquidated and taking it back from you, margin call you and taking it back from you anyways. And no, we don't reverse split on the 14th manual. <clears throat> and if you can weather out however long this thing takes, you're in a phenomenal tip top shape. This is this has been always my plan. And in doing so, in the meantime, I day trade, not AMC, other stuff. So I can make sure that I don't over leverage myself and always stay in tip top shape, good, and even adding more to my position to make them pay more. So there's ways, always adapt. Like this market is not the best, and it's not ever gonna be a fair market, ever. Because somebody has to take something from someone. In order for somebody to win, somebody's got to lose. And somebody who is a lot more influence, influential or powerful or got access to uh, certain offices and certain buildings and certain phones is always going to want to get better odds at winning than you do. And as, yeah, I know it sounds like a casino, but it is. Because the setup of this casino, Diaz, how are you, brother? A's life, how are you? Getting that cheese, huh? Um, Tendies, how are you? And thank you again for the kind words right there. Um, so the only thing that can technically screw you or screw us, the community, is one, the company completely shuts down, which again, we I can't see, I don't see. So many other hands are into it and invested in it. it again, put that also on the side. That's one. And the second one, is we all sell. We all sell, we give them what they need. They cover up the, the the crime, and when DOJ and the SCC go back to look, even after the loss, they will be like, there was never any synthetics. And the media, you know, they, we already know they control the media. They'll easily come out uh, and 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 put out and put out like in the media saying that yeah, it's over. The mark, the 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 the. Me, the meme stock maniacs and whatever, all of them, they're out. They're done. But that's not how I see it ending. That's not how I want this shit to end. The only way it doesn't end this way is by basically everybody in the community holding. And if not everybody, even if it's half the community, they're still going to be rewarded on the backs and the ashes of the ones that couldn't make it. So now time for you to think of you. Look at yourself. Look at the mirror. Think about you for now. Are you in a good position to weather this storm, even if it takes another year or two? Are you? Just think worst case scenario here. Can you last or weather out this storm? Because they're betting on bluffing you out of your position. They need you to fold. That's their only hope. We have all the hope, but they, they only have one hope. You give them back their, their, their fake bullshit. Can you weather out? The question is to yourself. Can you weather out the storm? No matter what it takes. If you can, great. If you think that you need to do some things to constantly make sure that you're good, that's the, that's the way you got to go about it. If not, then you got to do whatever it takes to take care of that. You got to do whatever it takes to take care of that. The last thing that you would want or the best, the first thing that they want is for you to say, I can't do this anymore for whatever reason, whether you get margined, whether you get over leveraged, whether you lost faith, whether you lost your conviction, whatever your reason may be, that is their number one hope and our last hope as a community or as a movement. <coughs> Again. These are all my opinions, guys. They're not financial advice. But this is the way I see the big picture. And this is the way I see things. Uh, unfortunately, as you guys know, not many people, not at all, not any, not even much sees this. And that's why we still have a lot of ignorance out there in the mar in, in the in the community. Because it, it, there isn't a, unify, a, a unity. You're, a, people are still too caught up with the... 
yes, yes, and the no, no talk, and the I hate Adam Aaron, and I hate, and I love Adam Aaron, and all this stuff, they're just, again, they're losing sight of the big picture, or they never looked at the big picture, but they're caught up in the daily day crap, day stuff. You can't. You can't. <laughs> you will get tired before they do. I guarantee you that. Look at Diaz showing, uh, I was going to say something. <laughs> Diaz, it's easy to know it's you right away because you got those two swords like you, like the Saudi Arabian flag. <laughs> Just minus the green in the background. <laughs> um, hope for AMC brand ramen. <laughs> So again, family, that's all. That's all. That's all for me. I hope this video gets or this live gets shared with more and more people. More of the community can see this stuff. Can hopefully, my hope is for people to think like this, so they can one save themselves a lot of headache, unnecessary one. In the same time, this whole thing with the vote and everything, this is nothing new. Do you know how many times they've tried to pull out some bullshit to make you feel like it's over, so that you can sell? So many times, this is becoming like literally like a Marvel or a DC a movie or a trilogy, where every every movie there is a new monster. This one is a, a lot scarier than the one before it, but eventually the Marvel character win or the Avengers always win. I I'd like to think we are the fucking Avengers here, and they're the terrible ones. Doesn't matter who they send at us, they send at us the freaking. Uh, come on, give me some characters. Put them in in the chat, in the live chat, and it doesn't matter who they send. I one time read this whole all the characters of Marvel or DC, and which ones are the most powerful. There's Destroyer. There's whatever. Doesn't matter who they send us. There's Thanos. Doesn't matter who they send. It's not gonna take me out of my play, but because at the end, the Avengers always win. And that's who I see us as. We are the freaking Avengers. And it, as, unless unless we fold or break down, there's no way that it's going to lose. You know? Thank you, Patriot. Appreciate it. So with that being said, again, it's an hour and a half. and We're 30 minutes above the hour. I would like to take a few minutes here to see if there's any questions. I'll take them. If not, I want to let everybody go to... To start getting ready to enjoy their weekends for tomorrow, starting tomorrow. To be honest, I think Marvel is toast after Endgame. I don't know what they can do. Uh, I think I think there is always you see how they keep bringing in different characters in different movies. Uh, they put them all together. So I think they'll be good. DC will be good too. You got to remember, we live in a time now where the new generations, they live in an imagination world. So like it's Marvel and DC has never been any better than, than these, these days that we're in right now. So it was harder to do back then in the 70s, in the 80s, or even in the 90s because of the technology and how... You know, they could do weird sounds, Dolby, IMAX, all that stuff. All that make a difference. The, the shape, the picture, the, what they do in the movie, all those stuff make a big difference. So that looks never looked any better. I think, on the, quite the contrary, I think that Marvel and DC and all that are going to do fantastic in the in, in, as they keep going on with, uh, you know, in the future, in the near future and in the future. Kim A, how are you? Uh, Tindies, AB, do you think we will know how the vote went before April twenty seventh? Uh, yeah, I think they're gonna they're gonna say they're gonna announce that whatever the vote is, yes or no. Uh, I think on the thirteenth or on the fourteenth, one of those two, as far as I know. But nothing will go into effect until April twenty seventh. Till after April 27th. Basically based on the judge's order or whatever the order comes out to be. Bacayes? 
Hey, what's seen Bano? <laughs> what's up, brother? Salam alaikum, brother. Oh, Diaz got a question. I have a question. Are these parked car streams impromptu? Yeah. <laughs> It says, because I'm trying to make it, which the game is over by now. I was trying to make it to watch the remaining uh, of the Barcelona and Real Madrid game. And uh, I got sidetracked with the family. I ended up being in something far better. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how they are going to get out because I can't see. Yeah, you see that? 1796 Patriot, you see what I mean? Uh, when you think the big picture, you start thinking like, yeah, there's no way they could get out with all these crazy numbers, 250 billion plus securities unpurchased just amongst these three players, Citadel, Subsquana and Citigroup. And there's many more still out there that we obviously haven't done the due diligence on. So, but just that, just, just that number right there shows you how catastrophic this whole thing is for the entire stock market. That is not just for AMC. How can they get out of it? There is no way. It's no way. The only way is through minimizing the blow. See how many people will fold in as long as, as long as possible, as like in as long time as they could possibly drag this out to, so that they can sell for less. People lose. They take that money, whatever the difference is. They cover their crap, their crime, and 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 get it out of the way. Shred it spoof it, do whatever, throw it into space. Uh, and then the difference, they pocket. Because again, I gave you guys an example before. If people bought in an AMC share at 30 and they couldn't last, let's say, hypothetically speaking, and they sold at, when it was at 10. Remember the time when people were like, I'm selling right here and then I'm buying back at the bottom. Remember that time? So people bought at 30, sold at 10 because they couldn't take it anymore. What does that do technically? You gave the freaking custodian, which is your broker, you gave them and technically the market maker because they're the broker in the deal, the bid and the ask. So you buy, you gave them $30 and then whatever, six months later, a year later, a year and a half later, you came back and you're like, I can't do this no more. The price is at 10 because this is part of their plan. The price has got to be low so that it can be registered as a loss for you and a win for them. So when you went back and sold for 10 you technically double loss. They never gave you a real share at 30, but they still took your 30. On top of that, and they didn't go and make the purchase. And on top of that, they waited for you. They brought the price down illegally and waited for you to oh, tap out. And you went in, you sold back at 10. Now they gave you $10 from your own 30, but they pocketed the $20 difference. Because you lost, right? You didn't sell it back for 30 or more. You sold it, sold it back for less. So not only did they take your money and, 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 and not give you anything a synthetic, but on top of that, well, theoretically here, it's nothing. It's a synthetic. It's not a real share because they didn't also go purchase the asset. Because that all goes hand in hand. This is all part of the same plan. But in the same time, they gave you back 10 from your own money. And when, when it all got, you know... If that's if you did this crap and you did tap out and you went and sold, they take that difference, they pocket it as profit. And then when that time comes, whoever is still there, that's who, where they're going to pay them out of. But in the same time, the money doesn't sleep. They're constantly spending, investing, reinvesting the money, playing options, pushing up. You see those weird stocks, pharmaceutical stocks that are getting pumped in the pre-market 200, 300, 400 percent. That's them. They're pumping the shit out of that. They get in on the bottom. They find a little float stock. They get in the bottom. The brokers, that is, or the market makers. From the money that you and I have been giving them for over these years. And they're making so much money off of it. Flipping. So, yeah. They will have money when this time is said and done. When it's all over. In the same time, <laughs> some bailouts will be will be made. But in the same time, with all that being said, you got to remember that their only hope is you tapping out. Because if you don't tap out, the only way out for them, uh, then at that point, is to continue to drag it as long as possible until 
the government takes a full bailout thing on this whole thing and it drops the entire financial market as they see uh, as they want so hopefully that that answers the question <laughs> All right. All right, family. So we've done that. We've done more, longer than expected. You've seen AB put the eye drop. Now AB is going to go drink more of his coffee and water. And hopefully you guys all have a great rest of your day and an upcoming weekend. Uh... No more questions. Looks like there's no more questions. Alrighty, guys. So, thank you again for everybody that came in here. Thanks for the mods. Thank you all for the family. Everybody is is is, is more important than everything else out there. Uh, I appreciate all you guys' help. I appreciate all you guys' support. Appreciate you guys giving me your time uh, to listen. And hopefully, this could get out to more and more and more people so that they can think more balanced and 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 in a, in a way where they can look at the bigger picture on things not just paying attention to the bouncing ball because when you're doing that you also lose sight of what truly you're there for or what we are here for um so that's the most important thing to to what what it really comes down to is understanding how they're doing this how they're effing us and how they're doing it and why are they doing it not just how they're doing it but why are they doing it that way I, the easiest thought that comes to mind is, oh, I'm do, we're, they're doing it because they want our money. Yeah, that's definitely it. But really, why are they doing this? Why are they doing it? You can see by not purchasing these assets, you can see why they're, why they're doing this. To force all these companies in vulnerable positions in order for the same company to go ahead and ask for a lifeline. Shelf offering, reverse stock split. When you think that way, you begin to understand that truly, like, these guys in the boards and stuff, uh, they're just, like, at the end of the day, they're just doing their job. Yeah, they're selling. Yeah, they're just selling their shares. But again, you can't, can I fault you or can you fault me for selling if I had to sell? If you any of you had to sell, would, can I fault any of you? No. At the end of the day, everybody situation is different when you sell when you sell it's you selling for yourself when you buy you're buying for yourself so the family is always welcoming to more and more but in the same time nobody can hold anybody accountable to anything it's 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 everybody's on their own but we are all one family thank you all i love all of you thank you all of you for the great support and the words Thanks all for your time as well. And please, please, please consider if you have not uh, liked this video, please do it. I don't ask at all normally, but because I put so much time and as you can hear my voice, I'm being is being lost now into these lives. Um, I just want more people to see this stuff so that they can like when I'm speaking anytime, the next time I'm speaking that I'm not trying to re-explain everything else that, you know, I've already shared with you. Um and if you don't like it, at least then please consider sharing it in any other thread or any other form or Discord or whatever. Um, and it's all love. There's no hate. It's all love between me and hopefully from out there as well. You guys all know, even on my Discord, I even share other people's uh, videos or streams. I don't have a problem with any of that, but it needs to be recuperated uh, so that the knowledge can be spread amongst the family and the community in general. Just because I don't agree with someone, that doesn't mean they're not correct on something, right? And that's been my motto. But unfortunately, we have many outlets or many parts of our community where uh, people are using this, this style of getting to people or their platforms for personal gains, which again, I can't fault anybody for what doing what, what they what's best for them. But in the same time, this is a community. The least you can do is share the wealth of knowledge <laughs> from everyone. Don't hold with and don't keep it inside because we never know. You're not taking anything with you when this all said and done in your own personal life and you're, you know, on your deathbed. You're not taking anything from this life with you. Not your shares, not your money. None of that stuff is going to do shit with, for, for you. So the only thing that you take with you is your actions in this life. Good or bad. 
you did good, it will be useful for you out there. doesn't matter what religion you believe in, in the afterlife. If it's bad, then you also will reap the rewards of that and the, the sins of those sins back uh, ultimately after it's all said and done. You'll take that with you in your grave and after. So share, share, share the knowledge, guys, and respect and love each other. And the same time, even if you don't agree, <laughs> with something on someone share it and ne you never know what difference would it make to other someone else other than you even if you don't like it <laughs> emotional damage oh lou <laughs> i love you all thank you so much and again guys enjoy the rest of your week and <laughs> whatever is remaining of it Enjoy your weekend that's coming up. Stay healthy. Stay sharp. Think big. Much love. AB Investments.